This is a realistic design which I'm about to turn into an aesthetic one, make it interactive and add it to a website. I'm using Spline, which is the sponsor of this video. Add the bottle from the library and change the materials to flat colors, so turn off lighting. And apply an outline. The next step is to pour liquid into it. Duplicate the bottle, change the color. Scale it down and make the bottle see-through by changing the visibility to back, so the front face is invisible. Adjust the liquid a bit. Go into edit mode with double click and delete the unwanted parts. Then adjust the top vertices till you have a curved surface. To fill the hole, change to edge select, select an edge and click on this button. Ta-da! The hole is filled. What's next? Add the gradient to the liquid by using depth. Set it to linear and change the direction to Z. Switch to smooth. Move these arrows to make it smaller and change the colors. Click on back so we can see inside the liquid. Let's add an outline, but not so fast. Instead of using the outline layer, I duplicated and scaled up the object. Added the outline color and made the back face visible only. This way I achieved a decent outline. Look at this cutie pie. Let's add the nice constellation-y flavor to this beverage. Add the star first, quick adjustments, corner, extrusion, bevel. Then add the path. It's a bit thick, so make it thinner. Change the caps to round. Add the sphere and make a constellation from these bad boys. Adjust the lines in edit mode if you need to. I got bored of this, so let's continue with something else. Hmm. Add the surface to this liquid, why not? Duplicate the liquid and delete everything except the top faces. Change the visibility to front, add the color and change the opacity. Scale it down, adjust it a bit. Let's make a shadow at the bottom of the liquid. First I duplicated the object, but I realized the geometry is not round enough. So let's add the sphere instead, adjust the size of it and keep the bottom part. Set the visibility to back. Add the darker color and change the opacity. Now it feels more like a liquid. I tried to add an outline to the surface using a ring, a torus, then I realized I could add a path. Sometimes the most obvious things don't come to mind. Hmm. Let's use a torus for the outline of the cork. The thickness can be changed here. Ok, let's go back to the liquid. Populate it with stars and spheres. Randomize their location, rotation and size. Let's make another constellation here and another one there. Add tiny spheres which add more magic to the liquid. Don't forget about the stars outside, they help in the composition. Now I'm gonna show you how to add these reflections. Duplicate the bottle first, change the visibility to front and apply a noise texture to it with some nice colors. Then go into edit mode with double click and increase the subdivision, so the reflections will be thinner. Keep the parts where you want the reflections and delete the rest. Add more to the upper half cause that's the empty part. By the way don't copy mine because I will change it later. Tweak the opacity a bit, add some to the backside too, but something is off. It looks like a cow, so just keep a few reflections and delete the rest. Change the opacity to a lower number. Now I think it's better. This is your reminder to keep things subtle. Let's add the white reflection with an outline using the same techniques. Use an ellipse for the shadow. Let's tweak the whole thing till it looks better. First of all, adjust the thickness of the outlines till it's kinda the same everywhere. Add additional outlines here and there. You see, the outline of the cork is not visible here. Delete the outline layer and add the mesh based instead. I duplicated the cork and made the top part slightly brighter, which gave some depth to it. I changed the placement of the highlight, made the spheres bigger and added some stars and moons. Now it looks way better. It's time to make it interactive and then add it to a website. Ok, here's a quick breakdown of this interactive scene. I added a new state where the potion is rotated and elevated. A mouse down event triggers a transition between those two states, with a custom animation fall off. I set it to toggle so it goes back and forth like so. To make it more interesting, I added a new state to the stars where they are rotated 360 degrees and the same mouse down event triggers that transition, but the duration is longer and the fall off is eased out so it slows down really smoothly. I also added a click sound and music. This is the final result. Now you can export the URL and share it with your audience. Or make a website in Framer with an AI prompt. You can shuffle the colors and fonts really quickly, and you have a good starting point all for free. Adding a 3D design is not difficult at all, it's just copy and paste. In Spline, click on Export, Viewer, Update it so you export the most recent state of the scene. Copy Embed, then go to Framer. Click on Insert and search for Embed. 
drag it above this image, then in the settings switch to HTML and paste the code here. Wait till it shows up and that was it. And when you preview the page you can interact with the potion. This is my portfolio idea. You can express your artistic vision and creativity without limits. A quick breakdown. I made this star, put everything in a group and apply the look at event. So when you move your cursor, the star looks in that direction. Then I have these ice pops with a second state. I added a hover event so when you hover over them, they transition into the new state. I embedded them in these windows, which can be freely moved thanks to the drag effect I applied. I added shadow, border and changed the radius of the corner. So this is my side but you can make it more engaging with the scroll or follow events in spline. A screen resize event is also available to make the design responsive. If you're done, hit publish, it's free. If you want to learn more, watch this tutorial. Thank you Spline for sponsoring this video.